Big left-hander Shaw Manaya takes the mound for his 31st start of the season. For Shaw Manaya, we, we've mentioned how good things were early on, where we're at today, second half. Maybe been a little bumpy, but got a couple starts left and one right here against an Astros team that you would love to be able to take the second game of, take the series from. Jose Altuve will lead things off. Altuve scored the only two runs for the Astros in last night's game. And he swings to the first pitch and starts this one off with a line drive down the left field line. Mark Canna will dig it out of the corner, but Altuve with an easy stand-up double to start this one. Carlos Correa. Correa on the ground. Scooped up by Elvis Andrews to throw in time. So Sean Manaya gives up a leadoff double, nothing else. So nice job of getting out of the jam by Manaya. Back in Oakland, Framber Valdez has taken the mound. Second game of this three-game series against the Oakland A's. He has been very good on the road. Against the Angels in Anaheim for his 11th win of the year. And that curveball looking good early, picking up a strikeout on the dangerous Starling Marte for out number two. So Kyle Tucker to lead things off against Sean Manaya. I think he went. Well, now they're saying Tucker says it hit me. We're also saying maybe a foul tip. And the third base umpire, Viscante, said no swing. Let's see if it hits Tucker. Now he's going to tell you this glanced off his forearm. Let's take another look. Maybe his knuckle. They're saying foul ball caught out. 3 2 pitch, and that's a swing and a miss on a changeup. Back to back strikeouts for Manaya. Two away here in the second game. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Manaya strikes out the side, all three swinging. So we're going to the bottom of the second. No score. He's an Astro. Marcana, the batter. Up the middle, speared by Altuve. What a play by Jose Altuve up the middle. Uh, Astros infielders have to be on their toes with a guy that has a ground ball percentage like Fromber Valdez. Got a great jump on that, maybe a little help from the mound, slowing it down, but a great play. Finish off by the spin move and long hop and gets Canna by quite a bit. So top of the third, Jose Siri leading things off. Another young outfielder for the Astros. Got him swinging anyways. That's four straight strikeouts for Sean Manaya. Chris Davis leading things off. So Davis on a very close pitch. In fact, Framber Valdez is walking around the grass. He can't believe that that was called the ball. Got him. Murphy strikes out. It's the second strikeout for Framber. One away here in the third. Even though that at bat started 2 0 against Murphy, it was pretty uncomfortable. And Framber Valdez took control of it with a couple of fastballs and then a breaking ball where the lower half of Murphy completely broke down. So one away for Elvis Andrews. Bounced in the hole by Elvis Andrews, and that's going to be a base hit. Elvis finds the hole. On the season, he's usually 92, 93. There's 94. So he started up with 91, went up to 92, and then got him with 94. Three strikeouts now for Prober. Three pitch strikeout of Harrison. Two out base runner for Kyle Tucker. And one two pitch, a high fastball, and Manaya got it past him. Five strikeouts for Sean Manaya. Bottom of the fourth coming up. No score. This ball hit hard. Oh, what a play by Correa. Carlos Correa takes one away from Matt Olson on a diving play on a rocket up the middle. As this ball is rocketed up the middle at 110.5 miles an hour. And Carlos, no time but just to react and dive to his right. Just happened to be here. Manaya grabs it, little snow cone. And that's the second out. But Kite, when you're an athlete, you make the adjustment. He had it the whole time. Just a little ground ball back at you. Ease it on over to Matt Olson. Siri with a pretty good lead, but he's not going anywhere, and that's a swing and a miss. So Maldonado strikes out to end the inning. Six strikeouts for Sean Manaya. Bottom of the fifth coming up. Now here's a 3-0 to Olsen. That's inside. That's a four-pitch walk. And that'll bring up Pinder. Pinder, line drive, right field. That's a base hit. Here in the seventh inning, Carlos Correa, Kyle Tucker, Marwin Gonzalez. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Tied him up. Good slider under his hands. And Correa is strikeout victim number seven of Shaw Manaya. Kyle Tucker has struck out a couple of times. That ball hit high in the air. Pretty deep. Right field. All the way back. Pinder to the wall. That ball's gone. Tucker 
with his fourth career home run against Manaya. And a game dominated by pitching has a run on the board thanks to Tucker's 28th home run. All hail. King Tuck got up. Wanted that pitch elevated up and away, not up and in. And Kyle Tucker amazingly has hit his fourth home run off of Sean Manaya to put the Astros ahead. And there's your barrel ball, TK. Astros is a home run. And now Marwin shoots one off Manaya's foot in the left field and Marwin might have a chance to go for two but he will hold up and try and hustle back to first and does the Astros have two hits on back to back pitches after having one hit through six and a third the pitch on Myers right hand batter is swing and a miss had him on the changeup that is out number two strikeout number eight Let's see if KD can get himself a little fastball outer third two more pitches driven to right Tucker back Tucker turns around it's off the top of the wall Tucker grabs it fires it back in and it's a long single for Chris Davis Jay Hay is 0 for 3 is grounded out struck you out and grounded out again little flare Correa back can't get it this game is going to be tied sky bolt scores miming himself fighting that ball off like he did there what was interesting was watching Jay Hay talking with Bushy Darren Bush the hitting coach as Draven was coming in, they're looking at the iPads, and you could see Jay Hay kind of talking about defending the inner half of the plate, knowing what you're going to get from Kendall Graveman. The matchup we've all been waiting for Elvis versus Presley. <laughs> 2 0 pitches, bounced in the left field, a base hit. Craig Mendove could not come up with it, and the winning run is aboard with nobody out. So that'll bring up Marte, who's 0 for 4. This one is driven right center field. Nobody's going to get it. Here comes Elvis Andrus. They're waving him home. And the throw is not fielded. And Andrus scores. And the A's have won it in the bottom of the ninth in walk off fashion thanks to Starling Marte's double. Elvis Andrus struggled to get to home plate. He kind of fell on home plate. And he may be injured. Just before he got to home plate, he kind of slowed down, and he is down right near home plate and being checked by the training staff. So the A's have won the game. Let's keep our fingers crossed that Elvis Andrus is okay as the whole team now heads over toward him at home plate.